Hello everyone and welcome back to I Love Editorix. Today I want to show you how to create this cool effect which is custom uh, mouse cursor in Editorix and this effect will create uh, create like the uh, difference between the shape the, this black actually it's white but black shape and the every element that it hover it um, all right so I saw this um, a new where, where is it new amazing video uh, released by Torix um, basically it's this one uh, it's talking about the relationship between creators like you guys and the clients so this is really beautiful and there is a gorgeous website but I saw this effect on let's jump to the right place uh, right here you can see a custom cursor that when you hover an items it creates this effect of wait let's jump back you see the the shape on top of the button and and the back the button become from white to black and the background is getting black so it's really nice and it's very popular so and also i saw this comment by mario i have seen um, a custom cursor in the video how can i make it on editorix so mario this is special especially for you and actually my channel is is created uh, especially for these cases that um i can show so show users uh, um show you guys how to to create um, this kind of effects. All right, so let's see in, I, I want to show you in Figma how do I, I'm going to create it. And then we will need to use some code, but, but it's really, really simple. Okay, so let's, for example, we have, uh, uh, I will have a shape that it will ref replace my cursor. You see here, this is the cursor. But instead of the cursor itself, I need to create a shape that uh, follow my cursor. If I go to the right, she will follow with me, all right? But also, every element that is, uh, that the shape is hovered, like, like on top of it, I want to create the difference effect, which is CSS property. And actually we can create it in Figma. So let's change the fill here. Uh, I will select this the drop one and this is the overlay uh, the um, I forgot how to, how it's called but anyway there is the difference here and you can see that this is exactly same effect but it's it's a bit gray so if I change the color to white it will be uh, exactly the same all right so you can see that I have same effect but in Figma so how can we create create it in editor x so first of all let's jump to the to the code and the first action we need to do is to create this shape okay so this is the code i already play with and i will jump right to the script so first let's try to make it bigger all right so first uh, function i am creating a custom cursor okay so I create um, a div, uh, element type div, and I give it like a, a, a unique ID, uh, my course, my custom cursor. Why I give it like a very explicit name? Because I don't want to, by mistake, uh, give it a, a general name, a generic name, and and then maybe in the editor itself there is. Uh, same element and then it can cause some confusion or something or error in the code so i create it and i give it sorry i create it i give it a, a unique id and now i push it to the to the to the html to the to our site okay so body uh, document body append child and i push the element that i created and this element it will be this uh, round shape that will replace my cursor okay and the second thing that i do um, 
I, I have a second function that it's called init custom cursor and I pass this element that I just created to this function. What this function does, it's basically getting the element I just created and it's, um, and we have here an event, what this event says. It says basically at each time the mouse move, my cursor is moving. Um, I will set some property to the cursor that you know where to follow me. Okay, so it will follow my cursor, right? So how it will actually happening? I have I I I create the element right. It's div div type, and it have custom ID. So here I have the style of this element. Okay, uh, sorry, this is. This is the style for this, this element. So the position of it is absolute because I don't want it to be affected by, by uh, his parent or something. Um, and the width is 60 pixels, the height is 60 pixels, and the border radius, radius is, is 50%, so it's perfectly uh, a circle. And then look, this is important, the, the top and the left. Okay, the top here, you can see it's a, a variable and I don't have an explicit number. And same for the left, okay? So we, when first we create the element, it's automatically located right here at the corner, which is zero pixel in the Y axis and the X axis. Um, but here in my function, each time the mouse move, I get the current position of my cursor, which is the event client X and the event client Y. And then I pass these parameters um, to, to, the, uh, to the property that it's called uh, the X here and the Y here, right? You see, it's the same here, all right? And this will make the position of of this shape always to to update it according to my mouse move uh, values all right so this is the the, the logic and also uh, there is a transform here because i don't want it to, uh, if if my cursor is is here so basically the shape will be like like here, but I need this shape to be exactly in the center, center of my pointer. Okay, so it will move like this and not like this. All right. Um, and the effect itself is this one. The blend mode difference, same as Figma that we set right here. It's the difference. Right, so this is also a CSS property. All right, so this is the important stuff and we will talk about the other stuff later, but um, but let's see the local environment of this code and how it's look, which is this one. And as you can see, this is the effect on, on, uh, on, uh, on the web and it's actually working. All right, so now we need to apply this in my site. All right, so the first thing you need to know is that this will affect will have will apply only to the site that have premium and connect to domain. Okay, why I don't know exactly why, but this uh, custom code is allowed only to this type of uh, of websites. All right, so first of all, we need to um i will remove the the code i created and we will recreate it so how do you get to this window basically you click, click on settings and then scroll all, all the way down and you have here custom code so click on it and then you will go to this uh window and maybe this will be empty for you so you can click add custom code and first of all give it a proper name okay so now I will add the script itself, all right? First of all, I will add the script and I, so I will call it um, 
my custom uh, cursor JS. Okay, this will be the JavaScript, right? So here I paste the code itself. So I will go right here and I will copy uh, the function. I need also the script tag. So I will copy it and paste it right here. And now I need to select um, if I want to apply this one on all pages or on specific page. So if this is a specific page, you can select from the page you have in the in the site. OK, but I want to run this code on all pages, which is effect if I will see it directly effect if, if this effect will apply on all pages or only on the on a specific page. All right. So next thing is after I, I select on all pages, um, I need to place where to put this code. So basically, I want to run this code after the page is load. So I will put it in the body end. So after the site is 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 after you the your user is see the site. So this code will run. So let's click apply and it looks like this. All right. So you know what? Let's let's see what we have in the live site. So I will refresh my live site and you can see now I have my cursor, but I don't see the shape. Okay. So let's inspect it. And I need to let's search for uh, cursor. I have it here. Here I have the page name is cursor and okay I don't find it but it should be right here. Never mind. Anyway, let's give this um, this shape. Uh, the color, all right? So, you know what? I will copy, I don't need the H1. I will copy all the style I create and paste it. I will cre create another custom code. And now this is CSS. It's not a JavaScript, it's CSS. So let's add it right here. Um, uh, I will paste here the code. And I will change the name to uh, my custom cursor CSS. All right. And this will locate it in the head because I want the, the CSS to load really fast. All right. So let's apply it. So here, this is the head code and this is the body end code. So I have here the JavaScript and here I have the CSS. So let's refresh the site. And you immediately see that this effect is apply and it's working on everything. Okay, you, you can you can see it's actually working. All right, but so basically this is um, uh, this is the step you need to do. Very easy, but let's see um, uh, two different things that I want to show you. Is basically this, this is the, the the effect we created. And there is a, an important thing that you need to know. It's the body, the cursor itself. Okay. So right here, currently we hide the cursor. All right. So if I, I will go to my code and let's remove it. Okay. I will comment it out. So right now you don't see the pointer at all, right? You only see the shape that follow the, the pointer. But if I refresh right now, so you can see I have the pointer and the shape is is follow my pointer my pointer okay and you can see that there is also a, a, a delay right so let's see from where this delay is come from and in this is in in um, 29 line you see tra transition duration it's 500 milliseconds and it exists also here in this code. So let's edit my code and I will scroll right to this line. 
and I will comment this out also. Okay, so let's apply and you know what, let's duplicate it so we'll see the difference. So you can see that now I'm moving my cursor and the shape is, is kind of immediately uh, uh, reposition itself based on my pointer and here it's much smoother, it maybe too smoother but, but you can see the delay, it's much bigger. So this is the property that you can play with. So basically uh, this is the, the speed the speed and this is the effect okay so this is important I will add it to, to the site so you 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 will have it also um, let's do it like this okay and there is also something very, very, very important, which is the pointer event none, okay? Why this is important, I will show you uh, uh, the difference. So right now, it, it, the, this property is set to, to pointer event none, okay? So this means that you can see I can select the text and I can hover buttons and I click buttons. But if you don't have this property, you will see that the shape actually, let's comment this out also, the pointer events. I will refresh and now you, you see that, wait. You can see that I, I, can, I cannot click these buttons because the black shape is, is, uh, is between the button and my pointer. So actually I click now on my shape. So this property, the, the pointer event none is very important. So you can, uh, so, so the effect won't uh, affect your, uh, your side behavior, your, your, your click uh, interaction and stuff like this. All right, so, so don't de delete it by mistake. Uh, so let's, uh, Let's comment out this, this one and and I will remove the cursor also and basically this is the final results. Uh, oh, also you can play with the size of the shape and you can create any shape you like but here it's 60 let's make it 160 and you can see that this is much bigger as you can see right now, all right? Um, so except difference, there is, uh, there is more uh, effects that you can create. Um, so basically this is all CSS property, so you can play with it and see what, maybe there is something uh, nicer uh, that you want to, to do, except the difference. So let's see if I change this to, to red, maybe I will get a different behavior. I don't know, you, you can play with it. And you see, this is the color effect and it's acting a bit different. So there is a lot of room to play with, but bottom line, it's very simple to do. And I, of course, I will give you the instruction. I, I will give you the, the code so you can copy paste it, uh, the script and the CSS. Uh, so play with it. And if you succeed, so please add a comment. And if you have questions also, um, don't be shy to ask in the comments. And I hope that this is, um, will be very good for you and, and helpful. So until next time, keep building amazing sites on EditorX.